Hey y'all, hola mi gente. It's your favorite George Rican, Kayla. And today starts all the cooking. It is Thanksgiving week. Today's Tuesday and I'm gonna be doing my, I'm gonna be hosting my parents and some of my in-laws here at my house. And we're gonna be doing all the traditional things and some Puerto Rican things. So hopefully I can show you a little bit of how I put my spin on a holiday tradition. Let's get started. This is what you need for my easy, quick, yummy Thanksgiving turkey. I'm going to put a little bit of rosemary, thyme, parsley. Have your turkey thawed out, washed and clean. Fresh garlic, some butter. Have some seasonings. It's kind of like an all-purpose seasoning. Garlic, salt, bay leaf, adobo. Another all-purpose seasoning but has different flavors. Some thyme, oregano, and some rubbed sage. This is a combination of Puerto Rican and American flavors. All right, the first you want, thing you wanna do, make sure your turkey is thawed out completely, washed, rinsed. Your hands are clean. You ha don't have any jewelry on, have to put your hair up. This is a time to get in the kitchen. This is the marathon of cooking, Thanksgiving is. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just pulling apart, separating the skin from the meat of the turkey. So then I can put all my spices inside and the butter sometimes there's so many ways you can brine your turkey um beforehand and all that kind of stuff but i was gone i just got back home yesterday uh, last night so i didn't have time to do that and this has worked too i'm gonna put butter in here sometimes i put orange slices in between the skin and lemon slices and not you know and you know a lot of citrus and things like that but and i'm gonna do this like a babochon which is a puerto rican way of doing turkey uh, when we do our pork, we season it with lots of garlic and herbs and all that. That's what I'm doing to this one. Garlic is the main ingredient of seasoning this and some butter. But I'm going to do the Georgia Rican style by adding some of the traditional herbs as well with all that garlic. So see, once I have it separated, I'm going to do that. Now, have a stick of butter with a little bit of olive oil. Just a tad bit to put all our seasonings in here and kind of create a paste. Now that our garlic is, I mean our butter and olive oil is melted together, we're gonna press a whole bunch of cloves. Really the desire of your heart. I'm probably gonna use, this has one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, uh, maybe 15 or more cloves of garlic. This is a, a large turkey. Just press all this fresh garlic. You can do one by one. And just, the good thing I like about the garlic that's already peeled, I can just keep Adding another one, I don't have to stop and remove the peel out of this. But you can put peeled, unpeeled garlic in here, and it's just gonna take the peel, the garlic out. But then you have to take the peel out. But this just kind of speeds up the process where I don't have to stop in between. All right, now that all that garlic is in here, it's time to add a seasoning. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of garlic lari salt. A tablespoon to two of the adobo. I'm gonna start off with one, one and a half tablespoon of adobo. A teaspoon of thyme, a couple of bay leaves, some oregano, tiny bit of rub sage, then fresh ingredients. I'll be right back. I love this all-purpose seasoning because it has citrus in it, like citrus peels in it. So it gives it that lemony, orangey flavors, um, even though I don't have the fresh citrus in here. It's gonna give a hint of that. I almost forgot, quartz black pepper, I can't forget that. Two big love pinches. This is how it looks, see? It's like a paste. It's not runny at all. Then we're gonna add extra pieces of the butter in between the skin with this. Now let's cut up some fresh herbs. This is time for my garden. I'm just pulling back on this and dropping it. I'm not going to chop it or anything. Remember, the tops are always tender, so you can just pluck those off. Another beauty. Comes out so thick. You can always rub it if little branches like this come off with it, and it'll come off. Smells divine already up in here. 
We just want, you can always do a bundle, like a, a bouquet of all your herbs, stick it in the cavity, and it'll all come out, bundle it with a little twine, and then you don't have to worry about retrieving, you know, having six years retrieve that, and everything should have came out. But I'm going to do the same thing with my fresh rosemary from my garden. See how I'm just pulling back against the stem, and then get all these. Yummy. Then I'm going to run a knife through it. I don't want the huge, huge chunks of rosemary. I love poultry and rosemary. It's just a great combination, especially roasted. Mm. You can do this on your veggies as well. Yum. All right, you guys. Fresh from my garden. Oh, this looks amazing. Some parsley. We just want the leaves. So you can just kind of put your knife and kind of strip, pull, and just strip it. It's just going to give it just some of that earthiness, freshness. And I'm going to actually get a little bit of cilantro for that George Rican spin. I'll be back. I mean, how is this going to be George Rican if I don't have a little bit of cilantro? You know what I'm saying? Just blend it in with this. Cut it up. To our bowl. Ignore Home Alone in the background. Introducing Mariana to all the Home Alone movies. Classic, classic, classic. All right, you guys. That is it. I add a little bit, tiny more, but not much of olive oil because the butter will help it spread inside the bird and outside. Yo, let's get to basting. Excuse me, let's get to rubbing this turkey. So another thing that I do because I'm always, I don't like dry chicken, turkey or anything like that. I buy these little turkeys. Some turkeys come with it, but if your turkey did not come with an automatic, don't worry, you can get this for a couple dollars at the store. It's a thermometer, it's preset. You stick it in the thickest part of the breast, kind of at an angle, and you click it. And once that popper comes up, you know your turkey is done. I'm gonna put mine in an oven bag. I always get like an oven turkey bag for the holidays. And then what I do is you're supposed to open this up and put flour inside the bag. Some people put it after the turkey, um, but I think that kind of defeats the whole purpose. What you want to do is just get you some flour and put you like a tablespoon or whatever inside your bag. And then you shake it up. This is going to help your bag from bursting and your chicken from sticking, your turkey, excuse me, so your turkey doesn't stick to your bag. So, one of those like safety things. And I just leave my flour in there. You can take it out, but it's gonna help the juices thicken up a little bit too and kind of start off that gravy for you. Then you can put this in a bat, in a big old bowl. Let me just grab. Mm. Grab this one. Sit my bowl in here. That way it's easy to stick my turkey. Grab my turkey. Remember, I separated the skin all around. This is where the breast is, but I went and I did the legs as well. I flipped it over and did on this side. So you wanna make sure your hand can go all inside this turkey. And we're just gonna start stuffing it with all this yummy seasonings all in underneath the skin of this turkey. So easy, just like this. Get down that leg, on those breasts, on those thighs. And then I'll rub it all over too. Here come the breast. And it's kind of two sections. Flip that up. Go all the way down. You can see through the skin how I'm getting all in those crevices. That's why you don't want no jewelry on, no rings, no anything, no bracelets, no watches. You gotta get up in here and get dirty. <laughs> Pretty easy, y'all. All these nice, yummy herbs. Put it inside your turkey as well. It'll be cooking, releasing flavors and stuff. And now, rub it with all these 
seasonings. Then I'm going to get my butter, cut it in like half an inch or one inch, and stick it all inside and outside and in between the skin of my turkey, stick it in my bag, and put it in my roasting pan. Rest down for the first hour and a half. Then I'm going to flip it over, have the breast up for the rest of the cooking time for another hour. Then I'm going to take it out, open up the bag and let my skin cook for another half an hour to an hour to get brown and crisp up. Ooh, this is smelling and looking so good, y'all. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and pepper on the outside of the bird. That's it. All right, you guys, I put my little thermometer in here and the butter in between the skin. I have it tied up. I have it um, breast side down first and I have it in my roasting. It's a goose pot, actually. I'm going to stick it up. It's at 350. I'm going to, it's 12, almost 13 pounds, 12 to 12 and a half a pound turkey. So I'm going to cook it for about four hours at 325, 350. Super easy. OMG, I have this turkey. I forgot the whole, disregard everything I said about the three, four hours. No. Uh, when you put it in the bag, it speeds up the cooking process. And plus, I had it in my Dutch oven, so, you know. Uh, I cooked it for an hour and a half. I flipped it over. Then I cooked it for another, like, hour. And it's done. It's just a 12-pound turkey. I put my little kebab in here. I don't know if you can see that. It popped up. It's done. I'm going to put my thermo, um, I mean, it's pulling off the bone, you can tell. And so I uncovered it for that other hour and a half so my breast, my skin could get crispy and brown. And that's what it did. Yum. I'll give y'all a taste later. Just a simple, get whatever dishes you have, mix match tea lights, a couple chargers. Make it simple, I have a little flower arrangement. This happens to be my wedding anniversary flower arrangement, but, okay. And it'll be just nice and perfect for dinner tonight. Oh, and gee, y'all, look at the sweet potatoes, how delicious they came out. My mac and cheese, my cornbread dressing. How about tasting, I'll let y'all know. The ham. And the turkey. Of course, I made some green beans. Well, actually, Richie made these. And homemade dressing, gravy from the drippings of the turkey. And then we can't have a Georgia Rican meal without some arroz con gandules. So there's my Georgia Rican spin. Y'all, everything just turned out beautiful. The food was amazing. And the best part was being with family from my kitchen to yours, buen provecho.